got your way. What are you even doing here? Did you miss your way? <laughs> this is for guys alone. Um, the queue at the ladies' restroom is too long, and I need to pee. Please, wait. thinking something is going on here now. Ah. Calm down. <laughs> now what do you think is going on here? <laughs> people, people think differently. They will start thinking, I don't know. What do I do here? <laughs> they just seem to be thinking whatever they like. So fine now. Wow, this is good. Let me see. Ah. Hmm. Look at me. I can actually admire myself. Mm. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Ah. I'm sure when they see me today, they will all marvel. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay. I think I need to practice. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Let me practice. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Kamsi Okeke. Today, I'm going to be your investment coach. You all are gathered here today because you want to know what to do with your savings. And I will tell you what to do with it. And it is stability. What comes to your mind when you readily hear the word Stability. <laughs> I got this. Woo. I'm going to win the trophy. You got it. Go and conquer Kamsi. Yes. Mm. Wow. This is huge. Mm. You're there already. <laughs> Mom, please, don't celebrate yet, okay? I've not gotten the promotion yet. My boss said that there's a possibility of promotion, but I have to work hard for it. Well, there's no doubt you're going to get the promotion. You're the only one who inherited my good traits, mm. my intelligence, and my beauty. Hmm. Thank goodness your love life is not patterned after hers. Oh, yes. It's a good thing it's not. Your sister has a better taste in men than I do. If I didn't leave my first love, I wouldn't have ended up with your father. What a pity. This is why you and dad broke up. And you, Oge, do whatever your sister is doing. Have good taste in men too. Mom, please, let Mom. me be. Mama, ah, please, enough of these cat and rats uh, issues. Mom, I'm famished. Please, what did you cook? I made jello fries. Ah! God bless you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, I'll see you guys later. Mm. You better learn from your sister. Mom. How's the review going? 
babe, I guess I have to talk to you later. Like, I'm really busy right now because there's a lot I need to learn. Honestly, the review for the states and um, for the bar here is quite different from the one in Nigeria. You won't believe that each state has its own laws. And we are tackling general topics ranging from civil law, constitutional law, and evidence. It's a whole lot, honestly. It is really a whole lot. I really don't understand anything you just said, but I know you can do it. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Thank you. You know it's another step being crossed out from our list, right? And I have a surprise for you, dear. Just guess what it is. You know I can't guess. Just tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm coming home in three days' time and I have my tickets already. What? What do you mean? What do you mean by you're coming home in three days' time? What about your reviews? I really want to see you. Okay, it's okay, but that's a that's somehow strange. I have something very important to do. That's why I have to be there. Okay. We've been together for six years and each and every year were the best years of my life. And I must say, I am convinced that you made my life so complete. Please, can we make this little? Spend forever with me, please. Please. How can I say no? Is that a yes? Yes. She said yes. She said yes. I'm getting married, mom. God. I love you so much, babe. Thank you very much. Mom, she said yes. She said yes. Babe. God. This looks so shiny. This must be expensive. Do you know your father never got me anything like this before? You're so lucky. I'm happy for you, darling. Are you happy? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I am more <laughs> happy than you. Oh, I feel like I have made a lot of bad decisions in my life. I'm happy for you, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, um, we well, need to go meet your friends. They must be waiting. Um, hold on. There are lots of things we need to prepare. Certificate of no marriage. As soon as possible. Yes. So, when is your wedding taking place? In two years' time. No, 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 it's no, no, not at all. It's a few months' time, Mom. Why would you even say two years, babe? I thought we discussed about this already. <laughs> yes. So, here's the plan I'm going to take my bar exam so I can practice law in the States. After which, you come and join me in the States. It's that simple. But my boss talked about this promotion. You will get a job in the States. You get a job in New York anytime you want. It is not that difficult at all. So just take a chill pill, babe. Don't worry.
<laughs> watch it watch it <laughs> is it is it <laughs> i thought you said you're okay <laughs> You know what, guys? This may sound odd, but I want to get married! Yes, me too! Hey, stranger. Yes, baby. Let's get married. Yes! Let's do this. <laughs> Louis! You're a lawyer, right? And you handle weddings. Of course. Come and get us married. Are you, Here. Are you okay? And now. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Let's get married, baby. Come on, we are serious, guys. Guys, come, Louis. come, 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 come. Let's get married. Louis, if you're a lawyer, like he said, come with us. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I still have some marriage forms in my car since I came directly from the courts. I'll just join them together and then file them with the rest. Um, just give me a minute. Go they want already. to get married. Let's get them married. Go ready, you go. Andy, what is going on? No, you do not. Okay, can't you yes, see? I'm, I'm just happy. I'm in love. How to get married? Oh, trust me, I know what I'm doing. You just waiting. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys. Hey. I'm back now. Fine. This is the most hilarious wedding I've conducted in my ten years. But since we all want to joke, let's joke. <laughs> okay, come and sign here. Andy! Andy, what are you signing? You yeah. right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Our bride! Yeah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you okay? Getting married. I love her. Wow! Yes. Let's go! Will it be this just this one night that you are free? This is the craziest night of your life. Oh God. What do I do? What do I do? Okay. Hi, you're Andy K, right? I am Kamsi Okeke. You don't have to call me Andy K. Just call me Andy. All right, we need to talk. Um, can we drive down to a bar or something? No, we can't. Why? We're in this situation today because of alcohol. What else do they sell in bar? All right, can I say the marriage certificate? I can't believe this. You're really my wife? I can't believe I'm married. And why are you so happy? Because I, I never imagined this can ever happen. This is totally wrong. Please, we need to split up. Split up? What if I don't want to? Then be ready to see the dark side of me. Calm down. Relax. I'm just kidding. Just calm down. So what do we do? Um, we just have to go to a court and say it's a court marriage. Tell them we're drunk and... No, we can't. One, because I am preparing for my wedding in a few months. And secondly, my fiance is from a family of lawyers. I don't want them to find out. 
What kind of relationship is that? Family full of secrets. And you're not married to them yet. My mom told me that honesty is key. And especially when it has to do with family. All right, fine. I will tell them. But we have to get this over and done with first. Well, if you say so. But let me make this clear. You're the one fighting for divorce. And you're paying for everything. Because I don't believe in divorce. Annulment. Whatever. Being married to you is fine by me. My wife. Will you stop that? Please, let's just complete. you're married. Is marriage a joke to you or what? Wait a minute. Is that why you haven't gone to see the doctor? Sis, it's not like that. Hmm. Actually, I just got to find out today that we married legally. Really? We were both drunk that night and we didn't know when we agreed to get married. It was a court wedding and there was, there, we had witnesses. What kind of a brother are you? What has come over you? Don't worry, sis. We're already planning on how to separate legally. Seriously? You think you can get married today and divorce tomorrow? And the world has come over you! Sis, it's complicated. I kind of like the girl. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. You better fix this, because this is not funny at all. It's not funny. Gosh. It's just a shame that we didn't get to do this the normal way. It's amazing seeing her again after such a long time. Okay, I must really say I am grateful. Thank you so much for your support in planning our wedding. I'm really grateful. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to thank me. Come see my sister. I know, right? I know. And for the no marriage certificate thing, I'll be getting it done today and it will be registered online. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm already on it, okay? Oh. Just care about it. Okay? Oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay, no problem then if you say so. The reason this is important is because a client of mine in the States found out recently that his fiancé is already married. And how did he find out from the no marriage certificate thing? So that is why it is actually very important to do it. Wow, this is serious. I'm serious. So, for example, if two people are married and mm -hmm. they want to get separated legally, okay, how do they go about it? Um, first of all, you check the legality of the marriage, and after that, they get themselves lawyers to oversee the whole case. Why can't they use just one lawyer? Uh, no, no, no. Using one lawyer means um, they are working for the separation of um, the whole thing, and that is called coalition. More like, you know, you understand? Wow. Yeah. This is serious. Why are you even interested in this whole thing? Oh, we're actually asking for a friend. Mm. <laughs> yes, our friend. You don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyways, all the best. Just tell your friend that um, she shouldn't worry herself because the Nigerian constitution and um, African culture as a whole protect the sanctity of marriage and all the best to her. Though I must say it is not going to be easy at all getting a divorce. It is not going to be easy. What's going on? Why am I summoned here? Andy, please. I need a good family lawyer. You're indeed my type. And I can see you're missing me. Good. Please, Andy, see, I won't let you be until you answer me. All right, let me just make a call. So, Mr. Angie, how could I be of help to you? Um, it's about the case we discussed. Okay. 
I also made my research and I found out that it will take about two years. So what I want to know now is what we have to do. Yes, that's right. It will take two years because your marriage is still valid. However, it can be voided because according to you, you were drunk when you got married. So we need to convince the court with your testimonies and the testimonies of your witnesses that you were indeed drunk. Is that all? But that's not the problem at all. We had people that signed your certificate. There are no more. The barrister and his team were involved in a car accident. Only one person survived, Louis. But she's nowhere to be found. That's a huge setback. You really need to find this person. You only live once. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. You only live once. I called somebody that knows Louis. YOLO, YOLO, and he said, you know, out of the country. And he doesn't know how to get to her. What do we do now? Why don't we try the annulment option? Do you know I missed the meeting because of you today? See, after that, I don't have time for all these things. This is not just for me, okay? This is also for you. What if you want to get married? I have told you I'm not getting married to anybody else. Okay? See, I'm tired of this. I want to go home. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. So what's the plan? Why don't we go home and think about it? Life has no limitations Except the ones that you make yourself Life is very simple Now we... Come see. Mo Mo what are you doing here? I'm supposed to meet a client here. And what are you also doing here? Who is he? Is she your mom? Yes. Good evening, ma. What's that your name again? Have I met him before? No, ma. No. No, mom. He's my client. Yes, I'm a client. Oh. You know what? Mom, let's go somewhere else. Oh, no, no, no. You should just stay. I, I better join you guys. It's okay. But, mom. My clients have a sensitive case and we need privacy. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Andy. Sorry I'm late. The traffic was so bad, it was hard to get a cab. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, did I hear you say Mr. and Mrs. Andy? Yes, they are my clients. No. He... No, you're mistaken. He is our client. Yes. Uh, no, mm. they are also my clients. Barrister. My daughter is not married. But her marriage is coming up soon. No, she's married. Barista, you don't understand. Oh my God. Jesus. Andy! Andy! Barista, please come and help me! See? Can't see, he needs CPL. What? Yes! You have to give him through the mouth! He's not breathing! Quiet! Hospital. You need to check if you're all right, Mom. Mom, let me take him to the hospital, okay? Barista, you don't understand. Oh my God, Jesus. Andy, Andy, Barista, please come and help me. See, can't see. He needs CPR. What? Yes! You have to give him through the mouth! 
He's not breathing. Quiet. happening to me. No, Andy, you have to stop this. You have to stop this, Andy. Andy, I am really sorry about yesterday. I hope you will still want to meet me. I hope you will still help me. Can't you understand what's happening? It's not working. Andy, please. We really need to do this. What? What do you want me to do? I have my own needs. I have my work. I have to save. I have deadline. Andy, please. We need to fix this. Just a little more time. What do you want me to do? Please leave me alone. I don't, I don't have time for all this. Don't, is that not enough reason for us to separate? Tell that to the lawyer, please. Andy, please. My wedding is close. Please. Now let me ask you this. If you don't get married to him, will you die? I'll answer that for you. The answer is no. Look at you. You're just desperate. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever been loved? If no, then I'm sorry. Because you won't know what it feels. To be scared of losing someone you love so much. Until then, then you understand how willing it is not to let go of someone you love. <sighs> I am sorry I wasted your time. There's something I need to tell you. What is wrong again? Do you remember that night I went to my sister's birthday party? I accidentally got married. I was drunk. But I promise I'm going to fix it. I will fix it. Hello? Hello, dear. Did you just go to call? Hello? Hello, love. Sorry, the connection is weak. I didn't get a thing. I have to go. Bye. I love you. Oh, hello, dear. <gasps> Mom. Mom, I need your help. On what? I have a problem. Hey, talk no more. If it's about the wedding, I already have the designs for your wedding dress. See, I'm happy for this wedding. What's with the face? I understand stress, right? Oh, come here. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I'm going to fix everything. Hmm? Sis. Good morning. You scared me. That's creepy, you know. Yeah, I was so worried. How are you? How do you feel now? I'm fine. It's just Kamsi giving me a headache. It's difficult, you know. Which is more difficult? Is it difficult to fall in love? 
Or is it difficult to leave a relationship? This is marriage. Marriage is difficult. This is marriage already, like it's, it's very difficult. Do you understand? Sometimes we have lots of reasons to leave the marriage, but you choose to stay by her side. But why? Kamsi, wait. Kamsi, wait, 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 wait. What is it again? I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you. Please, let me work with you. And I want to make it up to you. All right. Hello, dear. Babe, why weren't you picking my calls earlier? I'm sorry. My phone was in my bag. Anyways, I'm late for my consultation. I'll call you if I finish early. Okay. Sweet. Such a lucky guy. No. I am the lucky one here. Oh, nice. How long have you guys been dating? Six years. We met in school. Wow, that's really a long time. You know, I was this little Cinderella and he was my knight in shining armor. Wow, such a fairy tale. Mm, something like that. I was a nobody, but he fell in love with me. And he was a big dude back in school. Interesting. Yeah, he is my compass. And he gives my life a direction. So that's why he decides for you too? That's how he is. Strong and stable. His love gives me a future to look forward to. Future? A life forever. Forever. Sorry, hold on. Why are you smiling? Someone just sent me a text. I said he has seen Lloyd and she's in Asaba. I can take us to where she is. Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Saba is actually a nice place. I've been here before and I'm going to take you around. <gasps> so my wife, you're in safe hands, okay? Okay. Please. Andy, just call her. Let her know we are here, please. Can we go keep the bags? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Andy, what did she say? Her line was oh. not reachable. All right, guys. Felix and I will just go get food, okay? Yes, guys, I think uh, now that we are friends, there is need for us to cooperate. All right? Yeah, we're coming. All right. Hmm? All right. All right. So, Andy, hmm? don't worry, we're going to wait for her no matter what, okay? All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She should go in now and rest. All right, I will. All right. Does Peter know about this? Yes, I told him last night before we left. 
did you also tell him that the reason why we're here is to look for the only person who can testify against the validity of the marriage? No. I only told him that we are here to look for a place for the destination wedding that his family wants. Why don't you just tell him the truth? Okay, I tried. I tried. But it's like God is shielding him from knowing the truth. How? Okay. You know the last time we went for your birthday party? Mm -hmm. I told him I got drunk. You needed to see how mad he was. I looked like I was under a trial. He was so disappointed. And I wouldn't want him to feel that way again. So, I need to fix this. So you are not allowed to make mistakes? So what happens when you get married to him and you do something to disappoint him? Are you going to be perfect forever? Okay, you know Peter, he always pushed me to do better. The last time I checked, for better or worse, is in the vows. So what happened to the worst part of it? Are you going to be perfect forever? This is why I don't like marriages. <sighs> Gamzi, come. Sit. Felix, thank you. What's happening to Andy? Oh, nothing is happening to him. He's calling our clients. He wants to cancel all our appointments. Is it because of me? <laughs> Kamzi, you assume too much. Well, your assumptions are right. You see, I tried to talk to him, but he wouldn't listen to me. Like he said, this would be my wedding gift to her. To you. Oh. Do guys like him still exist? <laughs> So selfless. Consider again. Limited edition. For a limited time. So you better grab it now. <laughs> I just feel like going out, man. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Hi, hey, ladies. Hi. Hi. Why are you waiting for Louis to show up? Please. I would want you to take me around the town so I can plan my destination wedding. And I would also want you to help me choose activities for my guests. My wife, for you, my services are free. Your time is precious, so I would take that for free anymore. Are you guys going to stare at each other all day? Like that would be super stare. fun, but let's go. Love that. Go uh, where? Where, where we go? You know how we? Um, yeah, 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 I think I have some good places that we'll check out. Oh, yeah. We stay in Asaba, so no. let's see the street, man. Meanwhile, you girls are looking good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> <laughs> You only live once. Yolo, yolo, yolo. You only live once. <laughs> My wife. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> My wife. If ever you get beaten down here, just know it's me. Oh, don't worry. I'm just joking. Better. But seriously, though, do you trust me? I want you to trust me. You have a beautiful smile. I love your smile. You know what? Those pictures you showed me are so beautiful. And thank you for your effort and time. Oh, that's okay. So what do you want to do about the guy you're getting married to? 
<laughs> Let's talk about you. Let's practice. The truth is, I'm actually scared of love. Because in love, nothing is ever certain. Aren't you scared of something that is never certain? Yes. But with you, I realize it's even more scarier not to be in love with you. But the truth is, with you, I don't need to be sure. As long as you're with me, I'm okay. Hmm. Well, that is why I have said that from today to the rest of my days, I am going to love you without fear. Hold my hand. And I will hold it tight. <laughs> and we will jump together. And face the world together. And I will love you and who you are. And whoever you become. Till death do us part. Do you feel it? Yeah, I feel it. Come on, babe, I don't think it's a good idea. Remember when you tried cycling and it was a disaster? I mean, you're absolutely not the sporting type at all. You're right. I'm sorry. Is he really like that? Like what? <sighs> Nothing. Don't worry. It's my fault too. You know, Kamsi, there's still a chance. Chance to what? You know you guys are not married yet. You can still come out. Then what? You know what? Never mind. Don't worry. Come see. What is it? Excuse me. Come see, hold on. What is the problem? Nothing. Where is Lois? Have you seen her? Because if you've not seen her, I have to go. I have a wedding to plan. What? Yes. Didn't I tell you that you've done enough already? I don't want to keep bothering you. You have a lot of things to do. What are you talking about? Like the girl you were with earlier. Are you jealous? No. I have to go. Hold on. Come see. I want to tell you something. And this is wrong. Kamsi, I love you, Kamsi. I have loved you from the first night that we met. Wendy, love takes time. You remembered <laughs> that one night that we were just honest about how we feel.
Go ahead. Take the call. Kamsi, I can't believe this at all. I can't believe the information I'm getting. No, it's not what you think. I can explain. No, 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 no. You have nothing to explain. I've read enough already. Please. Please don't go. Let's talk, please. We've talked already. Look at what happened. Please, I have to go. Please, let's talk. Huh? Andy, come see. Who are you? I'm Louis. Louis? Yes, but I'm Stephanie Ken now. Andy didn't tell you. Is she the one you were with earlier? I was. I, let me well, <clears throat> actually, I was in a bad mood and went to talk to Andy alone. And during the conversation, he calmed me down, and that's why I decided to meet with you. I brought the affidavit. <sighs> so, I'm sorry if my disappearance made you worried, but I promise, Kamsi, I'm going to testify in court. I'll let them know both of you were drunk when you got married. And I'm sorry I filed for it. You told me Louis doesn't reply your messages. Neither does she take your calls. I was going to tell you. Tell me. When? When I've broken up with Peter? Or when I choose you? You always said I should not lie. You made me feel so wrong for keeping secret from the one I love. How could you do this? Um... I think I came at the wrong time. I'll just come back tomorrow. No, 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 no. You actually came at the perfect time. At least you saved me from making the biggest mistake of my life. Rubbish. Come see. Come see. Andy! Oh my god. Andy! No! Andy! 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 Doctor, please help him. He has cerebral aneurysm. Cerebral aneurysm? Yes. <sighs> Hello, ma. Yes. We, we are at the hospital at the moment. No, no, no not in Asaba. We, we, the doctor advised us to rush him back because uh, we have to bring him back to time. Yes. He will be fine. He will be fine. All right. I hope he will be fine. Yes, he will be fine. Just take it easy. Madam, you need to stop worrying. Doctor, will he be all right? Um, yes. I would like to have a conversation with a family member about his condition. Who are you to him? His wife. According to the result of the test run on him, the blood clot in his brain got bigger. He needs to undergo a surgery as soon as possible. But doctor, if he undergoes this surgery, would that save him? Um, well, it is a 50-50 thing. If the surgery is successful, he will live a normal life. But if not, it might lead to coma or death. Death? So from my conversation with his neurologist, um, he refused to undergo the surgery by the time he knew about the sickness. So you need to have a conversation with him and discuss about it when he's conscious. It's all right, doctor. Okay.
Doctor, please don't let this beautiful lady worry. The day we got married, do you know why I was drunk that day? No. Because that was the day I found out about my condition. I attended the wedding that day. And as I watched them got wed, just imagined what it would feel like to find my forever. I know God took it seriously. I met you. I knew the one I wanted to spend my rest of my life with. a taste of hope and then I lost it and that's, I didn't go after it because I thought that was the last day I was going to see you but I met you again I don't want to let go again When you have a taste of hope and you get addicted to it, you don't want to let go. That's why I didn't want to tell you about Loy. I was selfish. I wanted more. See, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for spoiling your life. I'm so sorry for spoiling Peter's life. I'm so sorry. It's tough, it's okay. of my life with. But I'm not the man for you. Because I can't give you the forever that you deserve. It's fine. But whatever happens, I hope you find the will to leave. My last wish is for you to please undergo this surgery. Don't know. I never went to Asaba with him. No. This is not the daughter I raised. Where did I get it wrong? I'm sorry, mommy. I'm really sorry. God knows I love you so much. And every decision I make, I make because of you. I've always wanted to make you proud. I've always wanted to make you happy. But mommy, this has happened. And I don't know where this is going. Meaning? If there's any time you feel you cannot forgive me, or any time you feel disappointed in me, even if I cannot make you proud, please, Mom, I hope you can still love me. I hope you can still take me as your daughter. Oh. 
how did this happen, babe? I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me earlier? If you had told me by now, it would have been over and done with. You know what? From now on, I want to oversee this annulment case of yours. All right. I mean, how, how did it happen? What were you thinking? That's because for the first time in my life, I felt I'm in control of myself. So you mean I've been controlling you all this while? No. That is exactly what you're saying. I mean, I let you make your own decision. I let you make your own career. You're even free to do whatever you wanted. That is not true, Peter. Whoa. If you let me do things I want to do, why then do I have to take permission from you before I do anything? Why will you be the one to make every decision for me? Oh my God. You don't even believe oh that God. I can make a perfect decision for myself. Oh my God. But you are always free to say no if you're not cool with it. You're always free to say no. Peter, because of you, I am at this stage of my life and I am thankful. But the truth is, I can't stay in a relationship just because I am thankful. Six years, Kamsi. Six years. Six years. The six years of my life that I've been trying so hard to make you see me that I am a grown woman. Six years I've been trying to prove myself to you. Yet, you never noticed. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what I realized? I realized that no matter how hard I try, no matter what I do to prove myself, you will never see me as a grown woman. And that's because we are not equal. This is because of him, right? This is because of just one single person you met when? This is because of him. We are already having oh. our problems. Before he came. No. Can't. All he did was to open my eyes. Kamsi, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. No, now. You're making the biggest mistake of your life, Kamsi. This is the risk I am ready to take. You're making the biggest mistake of your life, Kamsi. Kamsi. What will I tell my friends? Kamsi. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know what, Kamsi? Mom has her own life. The mistakes she made are her own mistakes. You have your own problems. Your own mistakes. Because you have your own life. Stop living mom's life for her. Okay? Alright, thank you. You're welcome. You know I'm proud of you. Or do you think mom will ever forgive me? I don't think so. I know so. Look behind you. I am sorry, Kamsi. I am proud of you. Thank you so much, Mary. I love you. I love you too, darling. Andy, you made a good decision. You'll be fine. You've heard everything the doctor said, so you don't need to be scared of anything. You're going to be fine. So please, you need to hurry up so that the nurses can come and dress him and get him prepared for theater. Okay, doctor. All right, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing to worry about, okay? You'll be fine. I'm actually undergoing this surgery because of my wife. She has given me a reason to leave again. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Welcome. The one thing I've always prayed for is to be with you. Be by your side at all times. But the truth is, my heart won't let me lose you. Handy, 
Please will ascend this wish. What are you even doing here? I thought you were supposed to be getting married. Well, I will get married if the one and only man I want to marry. They say yes to me. <laughs> but we're not even sure if I'm going to leave. Please don't talk like that. Andy, I would rather choose one today with you than a thousand tomorrow without you. Andy, please release you marry me again. Let me say it better. Come see. Will you be my wife again? Over and over. Will you marry me and spend the rest of your life with me? Yes, I will marry you. You must be the change that you want to see. Free yourself from every distraction. Never let the sadness of yesterday ruin your today. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing, or nothing. Make yourself happy today. Life is so good, so cherish it. Make yourself happy, cause tomorrow is not promised. You only live once. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. You only live once. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO You only live once 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 YOLO, YOLO, YOLO you know.